Hello, welcome to Emotional Mojo. I am Michelle Yarn, along with National Certified Counselor Jada Jackson and Registered Dietitian and Nutritionist Tara Guidas. Hi, ladies. Hey, hey, Michelle. We're gonna jump into the Mojo Challenge. Today's is to ask for the apology. You heard me right, ask for an apology. Today's therapy session comes from Paul in West Palm Beach. Paul says, hey, Emotional Mojo, I feel like my wife needs to say sorry for flaunting her body at my company's Christmas party. She wore a tight red dress that was way too revealing. I asked her to wear something else. She said no. I was embarrassed because my boss and other male coworkers were staring and commenting, I think she likes it. Am I wrong? That comes from Paul. <laughs> so Jada, we can ask people to apologize? I, yeah, Michelle, I know it sounds weird, but the reality is without saying, hey, can you give me an apology? We do it anyway. You know, it's going to a person saying, hey, you did this wrong to me. This is how I feel. And essentially we're asking for an apology. So in this situation, of course, is he wrong? Uh, maybe, maybe not, but if he needs an apology, here are some, some quick tips that he can um, use. Number one, he has to ask with compassion, meaning use I statements. This is why I feel the way that I feel. He's gonna acknowledge why he feels he needs an apology, but don't be, don't accuse, don't say you did this or you did that, but right. this is how I feel about it. And then what he's gonna do is request exactly what he wants from the other person. It may be something as simple as, when you're around my colleagues, I need you to present yourself in a certain way. And then be prepared that he may not get the apology that he's looking for, but if he does get the apology, Thank his wife for giving him the apology. And so they no can move games on. here. We're being very clear and straightforward about what mm -hmm. we want. Absolutely, Michelle. And that's the only way to do it. it. He can't play games saying, oh, I think I need her to do that or I think I need her to do that. Just be very definitive about what you want. Well, and I think the most important thing that you said is you have to come not from a place of anger. It has to be very clear about what do I want and, you know, this is how you made me feel and not, you dress like a whatever at the, at the company party. You know, that's not going to fly. So what do you know? Open communication. It works oh. every time, right? Simple but true, Michelle. <laughs>